You've been really good with Ty. I never thought you and kids would be anything but a disaster. Great. Well, the old woman there. Uh, when we get there, how much do you know about her condition? She's got pretty severe asthma. Kind of like everybody, everybody else in this town. Coal smoke, I guess. What are you asking? What I'm asking is, do you think she's ambulatory? Can she be moved? We need to think about this before we get there. It's possible that there are going to be some hard decisions. Oh, finally. Finally what? Finally our luck's changed. Alan! Ethan! Stay there. We'll come to you. You made it. Here. It's CO2, isn't it? The blowback from the sequestration site? Yeah, I think so. How? I'm not sure yet. It doesn't make much sense. Even if the quake is responsible, which it almost certainly is, it's so far away from Site A. It, yeah, I don't see how it could just... <laughs> hey, forget about that for now. It's great to see you. How did you make it back? I was just saying I'm glad I never took up smoking. <laughs> Where are we headed? Dive shop. All right, the air's not so bad here, so everyone conserve your oxygen. Breathe this. What are you doing? Back off. It's the air. You need this. Are you okay? Come on. What's your name? Ashley. What's going on? Breathe. Breathe. We're not totally sure what's happening yet. If there's something in the air, it's sucking the oxygen out. Oh, I was driving and I felt so tired. It's all right. You'll be okay with us. We're gonna go to the mountains. In any event, you're very fortunate to still be alive. If you had your windows open or left the car's vents running, well, you're okay. Right. Let's get moving. It's okay. Breathe. Come on, it's all right. Thanks for noticing me back there. You know, I thought you were dead. When you woke up, I nearly jumped out of my skin. It's not every day that you see a dead person wake up. Still, I'm glad you stopped to notice me. Well, I do make it a habit to stare at beautiful women. Thank you. Alan. Alan, when you did your calculations, there were only five of us. I know. Remember, guys, try not to breathe through your noses.
when we finish the study, um, I should be able to get some time off, and I was really think it'd be nice for us to go somewhere. Yeah, it sounds great. <laughs> Paige, are you even listening? You've been so distant today, are you okay? Okay, I need a favor. Yeah, anything. I've been getting some pressure at work to, they need to know what things are looking like on approval for Site B, when they can start pumping. They're just pressing me. That's stupid, what good is pressuring you gonna do? <laughs> is there anything you guys could do so I can, Chris was saying if it's, it's headed towards a green light, Maybe if they knew, they could start making preparations ahead of time. Like what, start sequestering early? No. I don't know. Maybe you can lean on Alan a bit, he's... What's going on here, Paige? Nothing. Never mind. No, wait. Is that what all this has been about? All this. You're trying to influence the study through me. No, Ethan. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, hon, I always knew getting to the top was so important to you. So let me just ask, how many guys are you gonna fuck to get there? Oh, yeah, you start the waterworks now. Oh, that's nice, that's a nice touch. <laughs> Goodbye, Ethan.